Greetings, pod fans. It is the 2nd of May, and I have decreed that since you've been so good, you'll get just one more. Just another one. And today, what I want to talk about is some Dungeons and Dragons, because I was out for a walk with Ace the other day, and I had a thought, a thought for an interesting bad guy. Uh, <laughs> which I'm probably not going to use, because I don't think it fits for the current group that I play with. But in my career of playing Dungeons and Dragons, I've played with a number of different types of people. And the people that stick out to me the most as, like, are kind of different to how I play are the metagamers, the table talkers, the we have to have a full-blown conversation before taking every action. Like, a full-blown conversation out of character before taking any action. Like, if something is about to happen... And, you know, they're, they're chatting away. And that's totally fine if that's the way that you like to do it. For me, I like, you know, the the DM has said something is happening. You now must react to it. You don't get to say, what should we do, guys? What do you think? Because it's currently happening. You're currently under attack. Anyway, so these kind of people I've played with before, whatever. I had a very interesting idea for a DM that has a group like that. And it doesn't actually, I feel like it doesn't actually dissuade. But what you do is you um, build up this, the, the bad guy, the big bad evil guy, or just like a boss, um, as a, a like interdimensional, multidimensional being, and just like bring that into the story about how they're this multidimensional being. They've, they talk of worlds that we've never heard of and things like that. So then when you finally get to the fight, the moment that they start having this metagame talk, you interrupt them and say, I don't think that's going to happen at all. And then you mention them by name, like the player name. So you just like, I don't think that's a very good idea now, pod. And you have them being like, what, what, what do you, what do you mean? And you have it so that they, they, they can't really outplan him with the the regular way because anything that they say he's there he is reacting to it at the same time and just have it that he's an, a multi-dimensional being so he's able to speak through the dungeon master like everything that the dungeon master experiences this character also does and i think it's just a very interesting like way to just be like yeah you can have as much chats as you want but He's here, like he's in the room with you, not only your characters, but with you as people. And I think that would be so interesting. If you could get it to go off right, I think that uh, it could really, like, surprise and, like, I don't know. I feel like if you could do it properly, you could get, like, proper dread the moment that they realize that, like, the character from the game is listening to them. Um, yeah, it was just, I was just walking Ace and I was just like, I, uh, listening to Dungeons and Daddies as I do. And it just hit me that like, that would be a very interesting way to deal with your players. Like, cause I don't know, I don't ever want to dissuade people from playing a certain way, but I think using what they do, if that's a thing that they do, hello. Um, if that's a thing that they do using that, and bringing that into the fight, I think, sounds very cool. But yeah, that's just something I was thinking about, and I was like, what a, what an interesting concept to, like, bring the players into the game. And have it so that, you know, the person that they're facing understands exactly what's going on, and is able to just listen to X, Y, and Z, the whole kit and caboodle. But yeah, that's good. I should really spend this time planning my own game <laughs> eh, but it's okay it's good practice but yeah that i think is fun um if you do i've been playing dungeons and dragons for like 14 years on and off i only started da i only dm'd for the first time uh, last year which you know took a while but it's a scary thing to start um but yeah dungeons and dragons is very cool i would recommend give it a give it a go if you have a chance but yeah i think that was just a very very interesting one very interesting thought that I had and maybe it's been done before maybe this is a very like not novel thing but it was just something that struck me and I was like damn that's cool that'd be cool uh but yeah I hope you're having a great May a great second of May 
And I'm going to talk to you whenever I get a chance to do another one of these, because this was fun. Slon. <laughs>